and welcome to Oak North Sports News. Breaking news, the results are in. My name's Mr Beer. And I'm Mr Oliver. So before we announce the results to our sports day, uh, let's just start by looking at the trophies, the magnificent trophies that are here on our desk. This one is the uh, sports day trophy that has been going for many years now. And this is our in-house trophy. So as you know, um, our students have been taking part in uh, lots of in-house competitions across the year. The winning house will, uh, will win this trophy. So for the start of this uh, video, we're going to be talking about Sports Day and this trophy. Uh, so as many of you know, at the start of this week, we set our virtual Sports Day, not this week, last week, I should say. Uh, we set our virtual Sports Day, and with that, uh, we set the challenge to our students, our parents, our carers, and also our staff, because this time we were setting a virtual Sports Day for the first time ever. It gave us the opportunity to involve a few more people, and the results have been absolutely overwhelming. We're so pleased. As a result, we wanted to do a video and announce it all so that we can all see this, because usually we have an assembly and we don't see that this year. So with that in mind, depending on the number of events each person took part in, they would gain a certain number of points, and we link that to our typical bronze or gold awards. So for four events, you'd get a bronze award, eight events with a silver, 12 is gold, and you added in a platinum at 16 events. So our first award of the day is the champion athlete. The champion athlete award is those individual students that gather the most points over the, all of the events that have been set. So if we start with year seven, the girls award goes to Kaylee Cox with a platinum award. And the boys award goes to Josh Gardner with a gold award. The year eight girl award goes to Chloe Buttery, again with a gold award. And another gold, Alfie Brunsden. The year nine girl is Lily Lorimer, who uh, picked up a silver award. And the boy is Jake Hooper on a gold award as well. And for the year 10, Jessica Cox picked up a silver award. And for the boys, Luca Robinson scored a gold award. You can see them there on the board now. Congratulations to all of our winners. So, congratulations again. Um, the, the names listed on the board, they will win a certificate just like this. That will be sent home in the post in the coming days. Fantastic. So, just uh, before we carry on, we're going to go live now over to Miss Andrews, who is reporting on our student and family participation. Miss Andrews, over to you. Thank you, Mr. Beer and Mr. Oliver. Miss Andrews here reporting from Sunny Oakmore School. With Sports Day results counted, we just wanted to recognise some of those families whose efforts did not come, go unnoticed. In particular, Team Gardner, Josh, Poppy, Max, Young Toby, and of course, Mum and Dad. Also, Team Lily Wright, Freya, Eden, Harry, Evie, Aunt Sam and Mum for their outstanding efforts and contributions to our sports day. We can't thank you enough for all your effort and support. Back to Mr Oliver and Mr Beer in the sports day. Thank you Ms Andrews and thank you to all our wonderful parents and carers for their engagement in our virtual sports day. Absolutely, it's been an absolute pleasure to look at the videos that people have sent in to us. Uh, we really are grateful for that engagement, it's made such a difference and when we as a department were planning that, as we've said to many people, that's what we'd hope for, the opportunity to make your own family Olympics at home. Uh, with that in mind, I think we should just draw special attention again to Kaylee's performance, uh, earning a platinum award. What that means is that uh, Kaylee took part in all of the events. The distance events that we added at the end of the sheet involved a 1, a 3 and a 5k run, and then a 5, a 10 and a 15k bike ride. Kaylee managed to do every single event uh, and was the only student to Right, I think we're ready. Over to Mr. Gashi, who is going to talk us through some staff engagement. But unfortunately, it seems it's just started to rain. Yep, thank you, Mr. Oliver. Unfortunately, it started to rain here at Oakmore. Um, but we're going to go because nothing stops us in PE. Um, what I wanted to do is give a special mention to some of the staff here at Oakmore for their efforts during Oakmore School's virtual sports day. Firstly, I want to start by thanking um, Mr. Riley and his greenhouse mentors. Mrs. Wallen, Mr. Thompson, Ms. Andrews, Ms. Ross, and Ms. Shepherd, who all took part with their families. Secondly, Mrs. Hale and her mentee, Mr. Gashi, Mr. Oliver, Mrs. Cross, and Mr. Rose for putting in excellent efforts. Finally, I'd like to conclude by thanking our amazing support staff here at Oakmore for their efforts, Mrs. Hiscock, Mrs. Freeman, and Ms. Shuff, just to name a few. Once again, thank you to all of our amazing staff here at Oakmore School and we hope that you enjoyed our Oakmore School's virtual sports today. Over to Mr Beer and Mr Oliver in a dry studio. Okay. 
So, before we move on to the overall winners, we're going to go back outside to Mr. Gashi and Miss Andrews. We're going to break down the winners of the different year groups. Won't be needing this anymore. You ready? We are live. Yep, I'm with you. Thank you, Ms. Andrews. On to key stage four now. For the year nine, the winners were Blue House. Congratulations. For year 10, the winners were Green House. Congratulations to all of the year groups and well done for taking part. Over to Mr. Beard and Mr. Oliver in the studio. Thank you, Ms. Andrews and Mr. Gashi for your report. We've now celebrated individual sports person's success and we've also had a look at the year group breakdown. What we need to do now is So, as you know, every year Sports Day is won based on participation. This year is absolutely no different. So, without further ado, the results. The winner of our Oakmore School Virtual Sports Day 2020 is Greenhouse. Congratulations to Greenhouse, to all of the students in Greenhouse, all the staff, and also to Mr. Riley. We know that you're going to enjoy lifting that trophy and celebrating. Congratulations once again to everyone in Greenhouse. Moving on to our next award, and that is Sportsman and Sportswoman of the Year. So for this award, uh, within the PE department, we, we nominate a range of different students based on sporting performance in lessons, representing overall, and also what they get up to outside of school. Uh, there are lots of sports performers in Oakmore who are absolutely outstanding and deserve recognition, but we have to obviously Up to our new touch pack. Fancy technology. So, for the Year 7 um, award, the Year 7 girl winner is Kaylee Cox. Congratulations, Kaylee. For the boys, it's Taylor Horton. For the Year 8 girl, Tegan Pierce Holland. At the Year 8 boy, Max Studman. The Year 9 girl, Amy Addison. Year 9 boy, Jay Adams. And the year 10 girl, sister of the year 7 girl winner, Jess Cox. And our year 10 boy winner, Jack Baldwin. Congratulations to all of the students listed here and to all of those people who we can't mention, but there is a long list of names of outstanding performers. Well done to you all. And now on to our final award of the day, and that is the awarding of the Interhouse Trophy. So our students know already that we run a range of different inter-house tournaments across the course of the year. Unfortunately this year we weren't able to do as many as we would like, but we have already covered the results for the football, netball, basketball and hockey. We obviously have sports day, the athletics to add into that. So as we top those numbers all up, we can reveal that the winner of the sports day trophy for 2019-2020 are... Red House! Congratulations to Red House. I know Mrs. Hale is going to be happy. She so. will. But congratulations to Ms. Hale. Congratulations to our mentors. But most importantly, congratulations to all the students who have performed superbly over the course of the whole year. And fully, fully deserved. Well, well done. done. And we've got the points here. Uh, well, not the points, but the final standings uh, for where each house came over the course of the year. We look forward to, of course, coming back to Oakmore and starting again in September and seeing how many other on some of them, but we look forward to more forms of competition when we're back. Okay, right. Who work? Oh, there we go. Magical. Magical. And so, as we draw to a close for this academic year, we just wanted to say a couple of thank yous again, and to begin with, well done to all of our students who've taken part in all of the sporting events in lesson time, uh, outside of lesson time, and representing Oakmore and outside of school to keep as physically active as you can. Well done. This year, with the introduction of Virtual Sports Day, we've seen parents, carers, and staff engaging in sport more than we've ever seen before, and we are incredibly proud of that. It's one of the real positives to come out of this not particularly nice situation but one that we'll look forward to trying to continue to build on in future years, uh, as lots of people have reported on how much fun they've had on that. So thank you for that. 
And the final thank you for me has to go to our parents and carers. We've mentioned it before uh, in the tweet last, uh, last term, but thank you again to all of our parents and carers for all of the hard work that they've put in in supporting our students' education. I know firsthand with my own children it's not an easy thing to balance, so congratulations and thank you so much parents and carers for all of your hard work and supporting your children's education. It means so much to us and I know it will mean everything to them in their future as well. From me, I'd just like to echo the words of Mr Beer and just say a huge thank you to our parents and carers, but most importantly to all our students for their engagement over the last few months. Um, I'd like to wish you a safe and restful summer. Try and get out there and be as active as possible and we look forward to welcoming you back in September. Absolutely. That's enough said from us. Take care, have a great summer, be kind, look after yourselves and each other. Take care. Goodbye. Take care.